All right, so we went a little crazy right after I finished my last video. Um, Bobo and I ported up to the OTP hive and kind of just started hitting around. So you can see this guy, Patty, he's level 10. He had 6 million of each resource. We hit him tons of times. Um, like we're still like nowhere even near clearing him out. And so you can see there's also like shields up everywhere here. I finally figured out what happened after doing this though and like why OTP mailed us, which was that, so apparently like UWS had just hit him and after they scouted us, so they thought that like we like sent um, UWS to go hit them. Then that's kind of why they started mocking us. But they got what they want. You can see that like my power dropped a ton. Um, and I didn't actually get that many resources. Like Boa is the master. I think she got like five million of each. I only got like maybe two million in total. Um, and I probably won't really hit anymore because it's not really enough to cover my losses. The main reason that I got so many losses was because I went to hit this guy. And then like he started to get reinforcements. And so I started to hit the withdraw button and like my connection dropped at that exact moment. And so I couldn't withdraw. And then like I lost, let me see, 30,000 soldiers in that one battle. Yeah, so that hurt. Bobo got even worse than me. She got 33,000. All high-level soldiers. At least mine, like, I had just happened to send a lot of low-level soldiers with that attack, but you can see, like, most of my losses are still super high. Like, I lost half of my Tier 5 mages. I lost half of my T4 cavalry in like a successful attack, so I'm going to be rebuilding for a long time. Don't know what that's going on about. All right. But yeah, I think Bobo's still not done, but they pretty much shielded up all over because of this. But I think they did a good job. I think it was a good fight. Um, I was happy. I was happy that I did it. I never actually like ported in somewhere before. I know that UWS does that a lot. Um, but definitely like if you're gonna do it make sure you're on a super strong connection because it's so expensive to port You really really want to make sure that like you can use the time really well You don't want it to be messed up by a stupid mistake like what I happen where you drop offline before you can withdraw um, And then yeah, I think too. I also in a panic so I had one free elite teleport they gave us for an update um, then when like OTP started scouting me because I was in there, I wasted gems opening like a battle fog and things like that and it dropped me down below the amount of gems I needed to get back. So uh, luckily I had enough alliance points to buy another elite teleport. Um, but definitely like that <laughs> could have been planned a little bit better. This is the first time I did something like this so I was really nervous. Um, but yeah, I had fun and you know, OTP, you guys did a good job. You guys get props from me, uh, for your good defense. I hope that you guys had fun too. Now I think I'm just going to like hang out here and reinforce Bobo if she gets attacked. Um, but probably won't do that much attacking on my own because I can't really lose anymore. But I will show you guys something fun, which is that... My kills went up almost three times. Like I was at 160k or something before. Those were basically all from defending. Um, and now like just completely rocketed up to 340,000. I mean, it's not a rocket compared to other players. I'm still way lower than other players, but way more than I have before. The only thing is, let me see. Manage Alliance, let me show you my losses are now huge as well. Yeah, I had like 10,000 losses before, maybe less, and now they rocketed all the way up to 60,000. So, <laughs> and half of them are from that one attack, so that part was not as good. Um, but 
overall it was fun. Just make sure that like you plan ahead before porting in. Make sure you have someone to go with you. Um, our main strategy was to kind of hit around different accounts to spread out their reinforcement so they don't really know who to reinforce. So like you can see this guy, he went to reinforce this person and then pulled back. So, you know, Bobo pulled back and now like his reinforcements are back on the way. So he's going, oh, they shielded. Probably, let's see. Hmm. Shielded. Probably won't be any more targets left in a few minutes. I hit that person earlier though. Let me see. Oh, these are all scouts. So yeah, there's still all these guys. But yeah, I'm really not sure if I'll hit anybody more. Um, these are like, it, it's kind of okay because I'm, one of the reasons I'm okay with all my losses, even if I don't make the resources back, is again because, you know, it's something fun and exciting to do with my troops since I'm upgrading currently to Castle 16. Like you can see, I only have a day left. And then at, when that's done, I'll be able to start recruiting tier six troops. So I don't want to have all these troops left. Like if you look at my troop total now, I have like 85K in total, but then probably, um, you know, almost a quarter of those are tier three and lower. And those are not troops I'm gonna like want to hold up my use use up my hospital room and stuff like that once I'm starting to work on tier six. So I do kind of need to use up these troops quickly so that I can use my hospital efficiently. But anyway, yeah, good fight OTP. Hope we can have some more in the future. Um, can't wait to see what you guys give us back. For now, I'm just going to hang out and support Bobo because she is the master.